My name is Michael Gibson. I was hanging out with the wrong people as a kid. You know, I was hanging out with people that done drugs, thinking it was okay to steal things. I just kept following in the, in the same footsteps, you know, thinking it's fun. This is what I want to do. I can do what I want. I'm a kid, you know. I had already had a burglary of a habitat at the age of 11. Yeah, when, when Michael came to us, uh, he was homeless. It was actually like a stepbrother of mine and his family and us staying together. And there was a disagreement and they said, hey, y'all gotta get out. We just can't get along. You know, our names, our names on the lease. Y'all gotta go, you know, figure out something on your own. Y'all gotta leave. I didn't have much family there. So at the time, uh, you know, my daughter was five. He and Karen lost their place to live and were actually living in a vehicle at the time. In my car, I had like baskets of clothes and I had clean clothes, sturdy clothes and like essential needs. And we were actually both sleeping in the car at the time. We found places to go here and there to, to wash up sometimes, take a shower, feel cleaner. And I was just trying to, you know, figure out things for us to get a, get out of that situation at the time. Um, for a man feeling like he is failing this beautiful little girl, that has to be a hard feeling. I can't believe that something like that happened to us, that me and my daughter were in a situation like that. Day after day, you know, having to stay in our, our car. I think it's very hard for anyone to be living in their car. But a man and a young daughter, I think that was extremely difficult. You know, when you lay down to sleep or whatever, it was hard to believe that, you know, that it, we were really in that situation. Every service that we provide, we always go back to, is this gonna alleviate poverty, right? Is this gonna give you a step towards self-efficiency and self-independence? Is this gonna give you a, a rebirth? You know, if you're if we pay off some of a, a bill and you're just in the same situation next month to get a bill, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, let's let's you know identify some of these programs and services that we provide to help, that might better assist you than us giving you a donation. I was trying to do everything right that I could. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing drugs then. All that I really cared about at that time was the steps that I needed to take to get us out of that situation. Someone comes and they uh, are trying to work within their own power and it doesn't work. Um, for a man feeling like he is failing this beautiful little girl, that has to be a hard feeling. I was still going to the GD classes and uh, the lady, Leslie, had told me, you know, we have a single parents thing here and maybe you could qualify. Eventually I had an interview with me and my daughter, and I think it was probably a week or so later, they found some kind of housing for us. Yeah. You know, going from not knowing where you're going to, you know, stay at, park at, um, sleep, you know, to finding a stable, safe place for you and for him and his daughter, um, just that sense of relief and um, comfort in knowing that he is taken care of. The relief of having a safe place to stay for a single father and his daughter was utmost important to him. Um, having this house um, as a safe place for both of them uh, and to raise his daughter in a safe place, uh, a place that she had some future and some stability. She wasn't going to hop around. Um, she didn't have to be afraid anymore. Um, I, I know that that meant the world to Michael at that time. I didn't think there was really places like that that actually did that for people. You know, I, ha I had had so many jobs in my past say, oh, no, no, because you, you got a record, you have a past. The CC didn't really, wear, didn't really care about what was my past, what had, had I, what had I done in the past, where had I came from, you know. There was this there with open arms. Um, we take them from that point, 
put them in stable, secure housing for 12 months. You know, we're offering you this home to let some stress off of you and your daughter so y'all can live life. You can find your way to a better future. Really, it was kind of unbelievable at first for a while. And then, you know, I kind of felt like I used used it to my advantage to, to help me find a better job and get out on my own and be able to take care of us. We helped him get not just a job, we helped him with a career. And I mean, what better thing for a man to be able to uh, have self-respect and pride to be able to be earning and providing a roof over his over his daughter's head. I had to be the man all the time there for my daughter. We are a very good accountability partner for them, but it's really up to them to work towards those goals and we are there to support them in that and empower them to be able to handle that on their own. We're people empowered, not people enabled. And we don't give a handout, we look, we give a hand up. We fund short-term trainings. They'll come to us and we can get we can fund that training while also uh, providing employment financial coaching. And once they uh, finish and get their certification, we assist them in getting employment. I had screwed up. I had been in jail, in and out of jail several times. Most jobs held that against me, but you know, they didn't care about my background. Christ met them where they were, not where they wanted them to be or waited until they uh, became clean. You could see that his confidence growing because he was taking advantage of the wonderful programs that we offered here at CEC. Four to six weeks of training. Um, you had to be there eight hours a day, five days a week. And after that, if you passed it, you got a certificate saying you had machinist experience. I was actually able to take the qualification that I had there and search for jobs. And it was probably the third place I went to. And they said, yeah, we'll give you a chance. And I stayed at that company many years and just moved my, moved my way up. And so I just can't help but think that he had to have had so much self-pride in what he was able to accomplish. He had a little help, you know, CEC, we helped, but we didn't give it all to him. You know, he had to work for it, and he did. He got promotion, and, and uh, it was a stable job. It was a good job. 73% of our participants uh, graduate from training and get employment within the first three months. Uh, and their average pay is, uh, I think, like $24.08 an hour with, with benefits at that. You know, a lot of, the, a lot of our uh, clients get benefits as well. Coming from zero, that's, that's a life-changing amount of money. I mean, that's a lot of growth there. That's a lot. And then we have those situations where they are blessed and they, you know, get that job, get out of that situation or, or whatnot, or uh, have that achievement. The first thing, of course, they say is, thank God. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, yes, now you get it, you know. Um, and we pray for him for, and we thank him and we don't, uh, we try to connect through prayer and scripture along the way, not just when we're down and out or when we achieve success. We try to connect to him and connect to that throughout the whole, the whole uh, process. Yeah, I went to Alliance Baptist and they had lots of stuff going on for kids and, uh, you know, and I felt really connected to the church and then I, you know, I got baptized there. My daughter got baptized there as well. She was really connected with the church and, you know, I felt renewed in life. I felt like everything I had done in my past was washed away. You know, eventually I had met Sharon. I got to go to their wedding. I got invited to go to the wedding. And, um, and to this day, it really tears me up because what we do here, matters to see the growth of michael as a as a father and, a, and as a man well we're we're really proud to be owners of our first home together you know it's a work in progress but when it's all said and done it's gonna be just the way we want it and we love our home 
We had to fix a wall right here. We had to repaint, primer. We redid all the wooden floors and we put some new stuff in here and just fixed it up the best we knew how and just, you know, turned it into a nice room for my, for my daughter. And when we got in here to do our son's room, this whole room was some old pink color. There were holes in the walls. We primered everything, we repainted everything. We done quite a bit of work in here trying to make it the room he wanted. And to see Karen, what a beautiful young woman, gosh, she, she grew up to be. She's 17. She's been working for the past two years. She's saved probably about $15,000 for her first car. She has plans to go to college to be a nurse. She's really focusing on her life, looking towards her future. She has goals. I'm very proud for that, the way her life has turned out because of things that I've done and things that y'all done for us. And I feel really blessed.